Hi, this is Ms. Bouchard from PS11, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to compare two unlike fractions. Once again, I'm going to be analyzing the numerator and denominator across two or more fractions, and then I'll be ranking these fractions by sizes. Now, the difference between like and unlike fractions is going to be the denominator, which is the number of total pieces out of the whole. And in this case, I'm working with fourths in the fraction three-fourths and sixths in the fraction two-sixths. Because these pieces are of different sizes, I need to use different strategies to help compare them. The first strategy that I can use to compare two unlike fractions is by creating a visual representation or sketch. I can draw a picture of two whole shapes that are equal in size and then break those shapes down by their respective unit fractions and then shade in the parts out of the whole. Once I do this, I can reflect on which is larger. Now, in the past, when I was taking a look at like fractions, it's a little bit easier to compare these because the denominator is the same, and in this case, both of these fractions are using fourths. So the total number of parts out of the whole would be four. So I have four pieces, one, two, three, four in this fraction, and then another four pieces out of the whole over here. Because the pieces are of the same size, it's much clearer in my sketch of which one is greater than the other. When I create a visual representation of two unlike fractions, my hole is going to be the same size. So you can notice that this hole is the exact same size as this hole, but the number of pieces in each of those holes is going to be different. Since I'm working with fourths over here, I've split this shape into four equal parts, and with this circle over here, I've split this circle into six parts because I'm working with sixths. My next step would be to shade in the total number of pieces out of the whole. So for three-fourths, I'm going to fill in three of the four pieces. And for two-sixths, I'm going to represent two of the sixths pieces. And by doing this, I can very clearly see that three-fourths is actually a much bigger fraction than two-sixths. And my greater than, less than symbol is going to open up towards the three-fourths. Another strategy that I can use to compare two unlike fractions is creating two parallel number lines split into unit fractions, and then I can reason their distance from the starting point. With like fractions, since I'm working with denominators that are the same, or in this case I'm working with two-fourths and three-fourths, when I'm partitioning my number line into fourths, I can actually locate both of those fractions along the same number line, which makes it much, much easier to find two-fourths and then three-fourths, and then note the difference between the two. Since I'm working with two different denominators within my two fractions for unlike fractions, it makes sense for me to create two different number lines where each of the number lines are partitioned into the total number of parts out of that entire fraction. So for two-sixths, I would want to first partition a number line into sixths, so I can do that by showing zero-sixths, or no-sixths, one-sixth, two-sixths, three-sixths, four-sixths, five-sixths, and six-sixths, which is the same as a whole. Then what I can do is locate the two-sixths along this number line, and I can reason that distance from zero. I'll do this once more with fourths, because I'm going to be comparing three-fourths to two-sixths. So once again, I'm going to partition a second number line, but this time I'll be breaking it into four different parts, starting with zero-fourths or no-fourths, one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, and then four-fourths. And the four-fourths is the same thing as a whole. I'm going to locate the three-fourths and then reason the three-fourths distance from zero or my starting point. And when I actually compare the distance from two-sixths, to zero, and three-fourths to zero, it's very, very clear to me that three-fourths is the greater fraction. So my greater than less than symbol is going to open up to three-fourths. The last strategy that I can use is considering the relationship between the numerator and the denominator of both fractions and looking closely to see where the fractions stand compared to the halfway point. For example, the halfway point of sixths would be 3 out of 6. And if I know that 3 sixths is the halfway point, 
I can actually look at the 2 sixths and think to myself, hmm, this is less than the halfway point. I can also do this with fourths, and I can think to myself, if I have a shape that is split into fourths or four equal parts, the halfway point would actually be two fourths, and three fourths seems to be greater than two fourths. So here I can reason that this is larger than half because two fourths is equivalent to one half and three fourths is greater than that. So once again, I can compare and analyze and see that three fourths is the greater fraction. Here are several strategies that you can use to compare unlike fractions.